Hey guys, this is Coop from GarageGymReviews.com and today I'm going to tell you about the best training shoes, best CrossFit shoes of 2017. Which will it be? Will it be the Weaves? Will it be the Metcons? The Nobles? Or somebody else? Let's find out. Memory is a dynamic system. It's a repetition of rhythms. Now before I get into exactly which shoes I think are the best for 2017, I first want to say if you go to the link in the bio below, you'll find my full in-depth guide on the subject. I've actually written, I think it's around 6,000 words on the topic, detailing all the shoes that I think are best based on each price point. So there's a lot of options, but these are the things that I, these are the shoes that I think are worthy of you looking at. But the best shoe, in my opinion, of 2017 is the Drum roll, please. Reebok Nano 7 Weaves. Now this is gonna, you know, rustle some of your jimmies and I understand that, but in my opinion, the Nano 7 Weaves are the best training shoe, the best CrossFit shoe of 2017. They're the most comfortable, they're the best overall for flexibility, for breathability, for durability, um, appearance included. I think just for an overall training shoe, Reebok still owns the market for the CrossFit training shoe. Now will that happen for a long time going forward? I don't know, okay? I like the ability to splay my toes in the forefoot. I like the, you know, the lockdown feel. I like how they feel on every movement. I like that I can use them for everything from running to squatting to, you know, thrusters to cleans to snatches. Every CrossFit movement you can think of, these are the best for that purpose in my opinion. That would make the second shoe, at least in my opinion, the Nike Metcon 3s. Okay, the Nike Metcon 3s are without a doubt, at least in my opinion, the best looking trainers out there. Well, they're close to the Nobles, okay? So, I, I think at least from the people that I talk to, the majority of people like the looks of the Nike Metcon 3s the best. They perform super great. I mean, they are a great performer, there's no denying that. But I don't think from a performance aspect that they are as good of a shoe as the Nano 7 Weaves. The Nano 7s were awful. The Nano 7 Weaves are awesome. The Metcon 2s were a great shoe. The Metcon 1s were a great shoe. The Metcon 3s are a great shoe. But they are not in front of the Nano 7 Weaves, at least in my opinion. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with the Metcon 4s because who knows, they could be ahead of the Nanos. My third place shoe, and this is just another great option, is the Nobles. Okay, the Noble Trainers. Noble Trainers, they actually came out with a, an updated version that I've used. Um, you know, it's not crazy different from the first version, but I love the way the Nobles look. I love the way they feel. Granted, I don't think they feel as good on runs. You know, I haven't had as great of durability with the outsole as I think I have with the other shoes. Um, the upper is basically bulletproof. Um, but I, I love the shoe. I think it's a great shoe. I would like to see a little bit of an update from Noble for the next iteration. Um, but granted, it's a great shoe. The updated version, I don't like the tongue as much. Um, the midsole is a little bit too soft in my opinion. Um, but they're great shoes. There's no doubt about it. If you want an alternative to the other two, this is the shoe I'd look at. So my budget friendly pick for 2017 for the best training, best CrossFit shoes is the Reebok Speed TR 2.0s. This is an awesome pair of shoe. I recently reviewed this in detail. But I love this shoe. I love this shoe so much. I bought a couple pairs in different colors because this will probably be one of my daily drivers. I have a thin foot, so shoes that, you know, accompany that are ones that I really like. So this does have a thinner forefoot. Granted, this is designed for sprint workouts, for shorter duration workouts, but I've used them on longer distance runs up to 5Ks, which really isn't that long of a distance. I understand that, you marathon runners. Um, but everything about this shoe is great. I love the tongue. There's comfort around the uh, ankle. You know, they're really breathable. They're going to be durable, not as durable as our Nano series. Um, but I think they're a great shoe, and I really am happy they came out with the TR 2.0s. They updated them, and they put them at a great price point, only $100, okay? Not only that, but you'll definitely be able to find these on sale soon enough. 
So that leaves the last shoe, my ultra budget friendly shoe, and that is the Feiyu trainers, the Feiyu canvas trainers. I don't really even know what they call these. I just call them the Feiyu canvas trainers. I don't even know if I'm saying Feiyu right. I could be saying that completely off. It could be Feiyu, could be something else. But I love these shoes. I wear these shoes more than any, any of my other shoes. And I'm not just talking about training. I mean, you can see the bottoms of them. I just wear them all the time. I got a black pair too. They're super comfortable, super lightweight. They're originally made for Shaolin monks. They're really popular among the movement community, among the parkour community. You see guys like Ido Portal. You've seen Conor McGregor wear them. You know, they're an awesome pair of shoes, okay? And if you just want something that's super cheap, I'm talking super cheap. I'm talking $30 or $15. You can find these for as little as 15 bucks on Amazon, okay? And they perform, they last a long time, and they look freaking dapper, okay? They look great, okay? So that's the Feiyu trainers. Check them out if you want an ultra budget friendly shoe. So those are my top five shoes at least from a different price point perspective for 2017, for CrossFit, for training, what shoes do you think are the best, okay? Which shoes do you think are the best? Let me know in the comment section below. Check out the article that I've written on the subject. Let me know what you're looking forward to in 2018, and we'll see you next time. Keep training.